Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. For 10 more minutes of bomber building action and excitement. You guys ready for this? This is a drama free zone. <laughs> okay, people. Uh, now this was a little rubbery. It was a little too soon to trim, but I'm going to put that bottom lip on here. Right, so that resin still has to be kind of tacky, so this other piece sticks to it. Okay, now, oh, I should have got my glass cut. This is my bottom piece, okay? It's the bottom for that canopy hatch. That's going to give me that nice little lip all the way around the bottom of that. Okay? And someone asked uh, what this gray stuff was. Okay, that's it. That's all just primer. This is my urethane Transtar. It's the same thing I use on the plugs. It's just gray. You know, you can get it in gray and yellow. And uh, I like to use the yellow on my plugs because I think it's a little easier to see the imperfections, you know, when your guide coat is and all that stuff. more resin mixed up. Now I just got to put some resin on this deal. And this won't take but a minute. This part will be done. We'll get back on the stabs. Just need to put a ring of resin all the way around this. So when I, I pre-prime my parts so it cuts the pinholes down you know I, I'm gonna pull these out of this mold and uh, all I gotta do is fill the seams there's no pinholes uh, and it just makes it a lot nicer saves primer all I'll have to do is uh, wet sand them parts and you know and fill the seams I don't know why more people don't do that. They're starting to, but for years, you know, all them people sold them kits, plumb full of pinholes, man. And all you gotta do is prime your mold first, and you won't have a pinhole one, not a one. Had a couple other questions about that pill ply stuff. And uh, no, it, it won't pull it off the it won't pull the part off the the mold. You gotta kinda be careful with it. But if you're careful you won't pull it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two layers on this lip. Let's just go again. Then we're just gonna put it right on the part wet and then it'll stick to the other part that's the plan anyway I guess we'll find out won't we we'll all find out together I'll pull this dude off out of the mold tomorrow morning and we'll see hopefully I want to get I'll get that rudder trimmed in a little bit I can do that I'll do that after I do this part that you guys watch then I can work on the inside structure tonight and 
maybe even get that thing glued together so we can pop it out of the mold tomorrow too. Kind of anxious to see that rudder or vertical stab. I don't know why. Just because it's so cool looking, I guess. I want to see it on the plane. I pretty much got a game plan figured out how I'm going to do it. on here. I want this bottom to be pretty rigid. And plus it'll compress when I put it on that other piece. I think it'll just kind of work out just fine. You know there won't be but about a quarter inch of this lip all the way around the edge so we ain't talking about a whole lot of weight. See, this is a smaller jet. We got to be concerned about the weight on this one. Survivor show was good. I, I actually missed it last night because of that interview, you know. But I watched it on the computer. You know, you can go to uh, Kate or CBS.com or whatever and, and watch it. And man, that was a good one. That Russell. I like old Boston Rob, though. I was happy to see him win the immunity. I like that Boston Rob. That Russell, he's a conniver, man. You know, just one of them weasel type connivers. <laughs> I thought it was funny last season when he was trying to buy the trophy, you know. I'll give you $10,000 if you say I'm the winner. And he wasn't the winner. Okay, bam, that's done. That's done deal right there. Now, I've got to come in here and trim this back past my bolt holes. So I can see my bolt holes. Set the Bobo timer again. You guys are slipping. You guys are supposed to be on that stuff. Make me do everything. 